One last quick update about what to expect from the Aurora Borealis, how long it might last, and also whether we have chances for it for tomorrow night. I'm recording this at about 11 p.m. Mountain Time on Tuesday, November the 11th. Now, overall here, folks, we've seen a very powerful G4 storm confirmed, a geomagnetic storm. Uh, what we're talking about here, folks, is a high-end uh, solar storm. That's why we're seeing the Aurora Borealis. Uh, we've had what appears to be two CMEs. Uh, those are the coronal mass ejections, the st solar storm, so to speak, that is leading to this Aurora Borealis. Now, this will likely, most likely continue throughout the most of the overnight time period. So if you haven't seen the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights yet across Colorado, across the northern hemisphere, uh, it appears, now this is subject to change, space weather forecasting, uh, very difficult, and also want to be clear about this. I'm relying on the Space Weather Prediction Center and other sources. I myself, I'm a day-to-day -day meteorologist. I know the basics of space weather, but that's not my forte. So I'm basing a lot of this off of what I'm seeing from the Space Weather Prediction Center. But again, we're, we're likely to keep things going uh, throughout most of the overnight time period tonight in terms of that Aurora Borealis, the way it appears right now. Now, the third in this string of coronal mass ejections appears to be the strongest. That has not as I record this, reached us yet, but there is a good chance that around 10 a.m. Mountain Time tomorrow morning or around midday or so, give or take a couple hours, that we'll see this take place. And that could lead to maybe, if it comes especially a little bit on the later side, to tomorrow night maybe even being a better show. Now, things have to align with the magnetic poles. So there's a lot that goes into it. But the show may continue. The best odds would be earlier in the evening tomorrow to see perhaps more of those uh, uh, northern lights, the Aurora Borealis. But again, we'll likely keep the majority of the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights, going through the overnight time period tonight as we head into uh, Wednesday morning, November the 12th, and a chance we see it again on Wednesday evening, November the 12th, into early on November the 13th, though most likely to be on the early side on November the 12th. So hopefully it gives you a good idea about what to expect.